Hey, welcome back everyone, Toys is here, and I'm back yet again for yet another NECA Toys video, and today we're going to be checking out a brand new Disney Gargoyles offering. I happened into my local Walmart, and lo and behold, Angela was sitting there right on the shelf. So, very cool to see. Gorgeous artwork adorns the box, as per usual, and all the fronts and sides and lefts to rights. Nice photos of said Angela, right? And on the back side, you get some nice photography as well. A little bit of a write-up. It's the standard write-up we get with all the different gargoyles. And as you can see, here's all the cast and characters that's made so far. Lexington being the last one I need. And you open it up, and you get to see Angela. A nice photo. And here's everyone involved with the creation of this figure. So thank you very much for that. And if you're looking for her, here is the barcode as well. So... This is going to be an absolute blast. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new, straight from the Disney Gargoyles line, the Ultimate Angela Action Figure by NECA Toys. And while I got all you stone by days and warriors by nights here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. And if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. Guarantee you'll find something here that you like. So here's everything out of the packaging. Wings and all already attached, right? We know the haps with the Disney Gargoyles line by NECA Toys. The wings are insane. So we're just going to leave that alone, right? Now she does come with a couple extra hands, weapon holding, gun holding, fisted hands. All of them swap out nice and neat. You also get a swap out faceplate so she can go all creature of the night. She does have some dangly bit earrings right there. And that's cool to see. Nicely painted overall. They simply just pegs in. So you take her head and you pull the faceplate off as such. Got two little peg holes. Pop the pegs in, and you can go all screaming at night terrors. And you can see the difference between the two faceplates here. Now, this one is definitely an interesting accessory. One that I'm like, okay, yeah, I can see them throwing out of the box. Totally cool, right? So this is Angela as a baby when she grew up on Avalon. The rookery eggs were transported before the castle was taken over and yada yada. So you get her as an infant gargoyle, which is cute and adorable, right? She does have... Quite a bit of articulation for such a tiny little figure. She's got wing rotation up, down, left, and right. She has tail rotation as well. That'll twist. Now, she does have legs and a little bit of a thigh swivel, but nothing else. Nothing at the knees, nothing at the elbows. The arms will move at the shoulders, and she's got some head rotation as well. It's nicely painted. It's nicely done. Now, is it an accessory that I immediately wanted? Not really, but hey... They're making the figures, and it's kind of a cool pack in. Now, you do get a rookery egg, which is essentially Angela's egg, right? It's nice and cracked, spotted. As you can see, the eggs in the rookery. This is supposed to be the same type of egg. This was Angela in the rookery, yada, yada, before everything went down. Now, I fell down the rabbit hole because I got to thinking, well, no, I don't really know much about how eggs work in terms of the gargoyles lore, right? So I'm thinking, well... It's a rather large egg, right? Do they do, like, a queen alien thing? And then I went on a bunch of Gargoyles wiki pages, and each of those have their own sort of idea, description of how things work, so I was kind of able to put together the fact of Gargoyle females only reproduce every 10 to 20 years. Then when they have the eggs, which there's really no description of how that works, right? Those are big eggs. <laughs> they usually have to gestate for 10 years, and then... I'm asking the internet, uh, do any eggs in nature grow after they've been laid? And, uh, you know, this guy's talking about how uh, ostriches lay. You know what? See what I mean? See what Nekatoys did here? I went from A and I got all the way to Z just on the terms of, wow, that's a pretty big egg. And, uh, yeah, I don't need to know anything more about how gargoyles reproduce. But I love that the egg splits open, right? That's pretty cool. You could put all the accessories in as a little carry case egg if you wanted to do that but you can have it to where Angela's busting out of the egg you can't close her up in the egg and she's wearing a loincloth so it makes no sense but hey it's a cool egg right <laughs> now the wings like I already pointed out and we already know how many figures in are we for the Disney Gargoyles line they are insanely big they're one detolf shelf wide and these are no exception but they're very beautifully painted we're gonna remove the wings for the sake of being able to move her around now 
as traditional gargoyles fashion. You got the two holes where the wings peg in, but they have fixed the hair problem where it kind of juts the head forward because of their longer hair in some cases. They've made her braided hair a bendy wire, which I totally appreciate because now it doesn't get in the way of the wings, which then make her always want to look down. And then you got to mess with her upper diaphragm to kind of keep her aloft and looking forward. So that's a nice upgrade. I appreciate that. This head portrait faceplate also has the dangly earrings, of course. And you get the same type of articulation we've seen throughout. Now, one thing I want to point out with the upper diaphragm, when you have the wings attached, she does get very back heavy and unusually loose for a brand new figure. That's one downside because once you take the wings off, it's fine. But with the wings on, you kind of have to position her off to the side and it stays no problem. She's got a nice belt, nicely painted, the loincloth. She's got the same type of purpley lavender skin as Goliath does while having her mother's looks, right? It's kind of the combination there. She's got a bendy wire tail. You get a little movement out of that. Double jointed knees, the feet, everything works. Everything looks good. There is nothing mind blowing here in terms of updated articulation. It's the same exact throughout of the Unicatoys Gargoyles line, but it's just a nice looking figure. Overall, I have to say, from the wings to the articulation to the peg holes on the bottom of the toes, <laughs> which I think they should start giving stands. I think that would be a nice upgrade, to be honest with you. She's got her clawed hands. That's got articulation as well. You got double jointed elbows. You got bicep swivel. Everything's painted nicely. Everything looks good. And for the improvements that they've made on this figure, I totally am appreciative of that. Now, let's get the wings going here. My God, you can't. You can't even position these together, right? We all know. So just to take the wings off and show you some scalature between her and Broadway. Ah, wink, wink. That looks pretty good. I think that they go together nicely. And it's fun to put these two characters together on the shelf. And just to kind of have a nice family portrait, or at least at face value, right? Demona and Goliath will go very nicely with their daughter, Angela. So that's really nice to see. Demona being a she-devil and Angela being the she-angel, right? I fell down so many rabbit holes with this. But overall, like I said, I think it's a nicely done figure through and through. I like the upgrades, I like the paint, everything looks good. It's very evocative of what you see in the character for Angela on the TV show Gargoyles. So, that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Negatoys Disney Gargoyles, the ultimate Angela action figure. And it's quite a collection of gargoyles we have all come to collect at this point right again the only one missing for me is lexington to complete the clan haven't gotten a hold of elisa maza or any of the steel clan robots just yet xanatos so hopefully we'll be getting those very soon but through and through wings aside because i'm really looking forward to some draped wings for a lot of these other characters it's really just a cool line to collect not much to say about it other than Cool, I'm ready for the next one. So, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, yes, I know I forgot Bronx. He's in the thumbnail. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.